morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Wednesday again. It's time for story time. Um, let's see. What announcements do I have? There is a story hike right now for Read Across America Week at Sully Nature Park. The book is by Mem Fox. I like her work. She's really, um, she's, she's just a good artist and um, author. I really like her for kids your age. Um, so Read Across America Week is talking about diversity and cultural differences and similarities and that kind of thing. And the book that I chose today is about names. Because even though we all come from different parts of the world, we don't in, in Beaver County. We're mostly from Beaver County. But all over the world, everybody has a name. Every single person has a name. And it reflects where they're from and their family. And that's what I wanted to read about today. But I wanted to talk to you about names and where they come from a little bit. So I'm Miss Stacy. Good morning, Juliana. And my name, Stacy, was the name that my parents picked for me when I was born. Just like your name, Juliana, is a name that you, was picked for you, or Anna, or Anastasia, or Xavier. All those names were picked just for you for some reason. Maybe they just liked it. Maybe it's a relative's name that somebody they liked very much or loved. And my name was just a name my mom picked, but my middle name is Danielle. My dad's name is Danny, and I am named after him. I like to say, I'd have never heard that. But that is me with my mom and dad when I was not much younger than you are right now. Yes, Miss Stacy was little. And uh, that's my dad, Danny, and my mom, Ladine. And I have a younger sister, her name is Marnie. I don't have any pictures of her out here with me, so you don't get to see her. <laughs> Actually, I might have one, but she might be upset if I showed it, so I'm not gonna. But, um, so maybe later you can talk to your mom and dad and find out where your name came from. If you're named after somebody special, if it's just a new name just for you, or whatever. All right, so speaking of names, they start and have, are composed of the alphabet. All right, so let's sing the alphabet, the ABC song. Are you ready? All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me? <coughs> Excuse me. So, who was Z? A couple of weeks ago, we had a story about somebody named Z. He was a robot. And that was a Valentine story about love. It didn't need to be a Valentine story. I just used it for a Valentine story. Okay. Whew. Who's that? That's our astronaut there grabbing onto a star. Are you ready to sing Twinkle Twinkle? Let's get your twinkles ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, <laughs> how I wonder what you are. I'm trying to do too many things at once in my brain. You can only do one thing at a time in your brain, I think. At least I can. All right. Who do we have? They are, they have names. They are Jack and Jill. Now I wonder who they're named after, if anybody. I have a cousin named Jill. We have the same birthday. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Did you ever tumble down a hill? It's a lot of fun if you do it on purpose. You have to roll sideways. I used to roll straight. The older I got, I'd go like down the hill curved. I'd sweep along and not go straight anymore. Okay. Hey, diddle diddle. Yeah, the cow is jumping over the moon. We can see that. All right, are we ready? 
Hey, Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. This is how you play the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Right, let's see what else we have. We have a newer, well, not a new, a new one this month, but we've used it before. Who is this lady? This is little Bo Peep. And she's looking for her, her sheep. Ready? Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home and wagging their tails behind them. All right. And who is this sheep? That is Baba Black Sheep. Ready? Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right, let's do one more. I bet you we'll start seeing these guys a little more frequently now that it's warmer. They'll start creeping around our gardens. Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. All right, let's get your itsy bitsies ready. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, last one. Our grannies. All right, are we ready to do grandma's glasses? Pinch your fingers together to make circles, to make little glasses. And remember, for grandpas, we make big ones. All right, ready? These are grandma's glasses, and this is grandma's hat, and this is the way she folds her hands in her lap. These are grandpa's glasses, and this is grandpa's hat, and this is the way he folds his arms and takes her nap. <laughs> oh, grandpa's taking naps. All right. Here is our book. You can see it has a little girl. Her name is Alma. That's her name. It starts with A. Oh, I'm going to A L M A. Anastasia starts with A. Yeah. Alma and how she got her name. And the author is Juana Martinez Neal. And the book came about because Juana has many names that her dad and mom named her. And she wanted to know how she got them when she was little. Alma has a very, very long name. I have two names, Stacy Danielle, and then I have my last name is Ryder. But Alma has a lot of middle names. And I know some families have that tradition. So this book is about how she got her name and who she's named after. Can you see this? Let me see if I can see it. Where, okay, the sun is shining on my screen, so I can't really see. There it is, okay. This medal here. This is an award that picture books get. This is the uh, Caldecott Honor Book. So it's not, I don't think it's the actual winner, but it was honor, it had an honorable mention. And those are usually really nice books with really beautiful illustrations. And I like this book because of the illustrations too, but the story's really good. There she is. She's writing her name. Here's what it is. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's just her middle, first and middle names. She had a long name. And there it is. Trying to write it out. And look, she had to take another piece of paper at the bottom to get it all in. Too long, if you asked her. Alma talking to her dad. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. I wonder what book he's pulling down from the shelf. Hmm. Aha. A photo album. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, Jasmine flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. So that's his mom, his mother, and that's Sophia. Oh, 
I love books and flowers. And you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. So she's deciding that that name is good for her. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. And there's a picture of her. And she loved her son very much. Oh, goodness. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. That is a map of the world. And she has tacked it and put red um, yarn between each place to show the path she would take to get there. Do you like to go different places? Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. And she's looking at a memory of her grandfather painting. Her family had some different kind of people, didn't it? I wake up early every day, and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. Here's her kitty cat that she drew. I am Jose. She's realizing how important her names are and how she is like her family. Fiora was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist to keep you safe. Now that is something from a different culture. That's something that we don't normally do. Some families might though. And there is Pura. Hello Pura, it's me, Alma. <laughs> Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. There she is with her kids. And she's doing a march, it looks like. I am Candela. I might be mispronouncing that name. I'm not sure. So there is this tree growing. Did you ever hear of a family tree? That's what they're growing here. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. All right. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura, Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma and I have a story to tell. There she is. And she's writing her history, her story. And it says Mi Historia, which is Spanish for my history. Now, Juana is the name of the woman who wrote this book, and she wrote it about her life a little bit. Her name is Juana Carlotta Martinez Pizarro, and her last name now is Neil. <laughs> My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decision, so when it came to time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlotta on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlotta was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. I love that story about um, the author, Juana, and I read a lot about her when I found this book. 
Um, she is an artist, as you can see, and so was her father and her his father before him, I believe. And I looked them up too, but now that information has floated to the back of my brain and I cannot find it. So I wanted to let you know that the craft kits, some of you have already received them. Um, I have a few left at the library right now, so if you wanted to call and pick one up today, they should be able to accommodate that. The craft for this week, for this book, is a family tree, and I've included a white um, uh, copy of a tree that you can color. Mine, I just did really quickly on brown. And then um, 10 hearts. I've only put five up because I used bigger hearts than I gave you. And I have my family just from um, my little house right here. This is my husband, Wade, and me, Stacy, and our children are Reagan, Emma, and Kent. And when I read this book, I sat down and typed up why I chose the names for each of my kids and what, what I knew about my husband's name and my name. Reagan, um, my husband was in the Marines, and I know you don't know what that is necessarily, but President Reagan was in charge of the country then in charge of the military and so he always liked that name it was a strong name emma i love jane austen and emma is the only one of her books i've never read <laughs> and i liked it so i i put um that as her name reagan page emma Catherine, and kent kent adam kent is named um sort of after our sunday school teacher that my husband and i had when we found out we were going to have him and adam is my husband's middle name so that is how I named my kids. And like I said earlier, talk to your mom and dad about how you got your name. And maybe even about how they got their name. Because it's part of your family history. All right, you guys, have a great day, a great week. Enjoy the sunshine today. Go to the story hike. Friday is the Dr. Seuss party on Zoom. Or on Facebook Live, excuse me, I'm sorry. Go to our Facebook page and look for that information. If you um, wanted a... Dr. Seuss birthday party kit. There were a couple left yesterday when I left the library. I'm not sure if there are any left today, so you'd have to call and find out. To uh, You don't need that to participate in the uh, event on Friday evening at 5 o'clock. I might be misquoting that time, but you can look on our Facebook page and find that information. All right, you guys, I will see you next Wednesday at 1030. And again, you can watch these over and over again. They're always up on our Facebook page. Have a great day.